Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for this episode one on Bally Spring with me Farmer Murphy. Well the first question you might have is what the heck are we doing on here? Am I giving up on Bloomfield or Silver Run? And the answer is no. Those less plays are going to continue as intended. This is something I'm going to do on the side uh, just for fun. I am going to put videos on it but I don't see it being you know like a traditional let's play and hopefully that'll make sense in a few minutes. This all started a few days ago when my buddy Cobbler started a new challenge series from uh, Rusty Money's game, or sorry, Discord, called As the Author Intended. And basically, um, what it is, is you pick any map you like, you start on New Farmer, and you can't make any changes. Well, that is something I found kind of interesting and definitely outside my comfort zone because if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I like changing everything. <laughs> so, But I had been kind of thinking about doing something similar. So this came along. I thought, well, I'd be interested in doing that. And this map had come out recently, which is pretty innovative to console. So I thought I'd marry the two together. And that's what led us here. And I didn't think Cobbler should be, you know, challenging away on his own. So I thought I'd join him. But when I got looking at this map and the challenge, and I found that some ways this map was really good for the challenge, in other ways not so good. Um, for example, we can't make any changes, so even though we can remove these hedges, we're not allowed. Same with the fences or the stone walls. And the fact that it's an Irish map, you know, reasonably tight, um, that, that works really well. But the other part of the challenge was you needed to run any custom crops that were on the map. Well, there's no custom crops. You needed to uh, run all of the custom productions and produce at least one spawn point full of each, you know, each product that it could do. Well, not only are there no custom productions, there's very few productions on the map at all. Just the BGA, Sawmill, Spinnery, and Dairy. So in that way, the map didn't work very well. But one area that the map does work well is in the animal department. If we look here, we're on the start farm, we have this cow pen, and it has 500 cows. It has 15 heifers in it currently that came on New Farmer. But as you can see, we can have calves, heifers, cows, calf males, and bulls. And they actually are animated differently. So there is a difference between uh, a calf, a cow, and a bull. I haven't really noticed any difference between cow and heifer. There may be, but it's, it's more subtle. But those ones are really obvious. So that's a, that's a challenge, 500 cows. But it gets even better because there is an open pasture that has a, an additional capacity of 500. And it has 500 calves in it. So let's take a run out and you can actually see what I mean by the uh, calf animations. So, in addition to um, no changes as far as the farm goes, there's no changes to the starting equipment. So as you can see, this tractor is in some serious need of repair. It has like 300 hours on it. So, for the first year, you have to keep all the base game equipment and use it, and use it as intended. So, no, no improvising. Uh, for example, we have a silage fork with a spike, and we also have a... Uh, round bale uh, pickup for our front loader. We can't go and be spiking our bales. We've got to use that round bale uh, pickup. So, there we are. Calves. And I really like they got the identification tags in the ears. I don't think I've noticed that on any other map. And then the bulls are decidedly bigger when you see them against uh, compared to a cow. And like I said, this pen holds um, 500 as well. And these 20 calves came on New Farmer. So, 1,000 cows. That's a pretty good challenge. But I decided to take it a step further uh, because I didn't have any of the production or crop challenges. I said, well, let's take and run the base game uh, productions that are here to their maximum. And there's a spinnery. That means we need sheep. 
but we're not allowed to take any farmland and repurpose it, like to put animal pens on or productions on. Um, so that means we need to find sheep on the map, which there are if we take a look at the map here. And we go up. Um, there's our, uh, our uh, starting farm, I should say, right there. Now, one of the rules is we can buy any land we want, but it has to be adjacent to land we own. Here is the sheep farm up here. So in order to buy the sheep farm, the simplest way, or the easiest, cheapest way, however you want to look at it, is to buy 35 and then plot 107, and then that's adjacent here to the sheep farm. So we need to buy those in order to buy the sheep farm. So I'm going to take that on as part of the challenge. And the sheep farm, I happen to know, holds a 1,000 sheep. And there's some surprises up there that we'll save for when uh, when we get there. So that's the the basic challenge here is 1,000 cows, 1,000 sheep, which is a pretty good challenge. And we've got to have the pens full in five years. But one a uh, change to the rules I, I had to talk to uh, Gaming Joy Josh about was here on console with a 200 bale limit, it would be impossible to run even a thousand cows, let alone a thousand sheep, with just a 200 bale limit. You'd never feed them through the winter. Just, just wouldn't be possible. So um, he's going to amend the rules so that after year one, you can add um, things like bale storage. But again, they can't use any farmland to do it. It has to be on land that is not farmland, and. That holds true for productions as well, so that we can add a sugar mill so that we can make chocolate in the dairy. So we are going to, that's my plan to, uh, to do that. And as the bonus challenge for myself, there is a pig farm with 500 pigs um, that I'd like to try and within the five years, get and fill up um, actually we can take look at might as well look at the map right now where we're at it uh, this is the pig farm right here so we actually only need to buy one field and then we'd be able to get the pig farm so that's my kind of bonus or side challenge is to to uh, get that as well so it'd be thousand cows thousand sheep 500 pigs but uh, we don't have much production that we need to uh, worry about. But I think that's a pretty substantial challenge. And I've got five years to do it. And uh, because of the nature of the map, I can't have really big equipment. i got to do it with uh, small to medium-sized equipment. So can it be done? I don't know. But we're going to find out. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Uh, might lose what little hair I have left uh, trying to do it. This is actually the spot I kind of had picked out. I thought we could put bale storage in here. Um, it's obviously not farmland. So uh, that's kind of the spot earmark for that. But if that wasn't enough, if we take a look at the equipment, we can see where the real serious challenge is. So as you saw... Um, the equipment is all been used and needs some repair. We have a small drop nose Massey, very nice, I like that. And the medium Massey we were just in, what is that, 30, yeah, 3670, what, 170? Yeah, 170 horsepower, so not too bad. We have a harvester, very handy, a trailer, a header, a cedar, a sprayer, a fertilizer spreader, a slurry spreader, a mower, a tether, a windrower, a baler, and a front loader with some tools. Um, this, what is we got here? The silage cutter, the bale fork, and the manure fork. Okay, so at first blush, hey, doesn't look too bad. But we've got some cows to feed. And what do cows eat? TMR, that's what they like. Uh, I didn't see any TMR mixer in there. And I can tell you there is no production here on the uh, start farm that allows us to make TMR. So that's a little bit of a problem. So we got to feed our cows something. If we take a look at our little moo cows here, it turns out they actually do pretty well on silage on this map, 
TMR is 100, but they do 90% on silage. Hey, well, we can make silage because we have a silage clamp right here. This is a silage clamp. And we have a mower. Uh, no pickup wagon. All right, well, we can bale it. So let's go look at our baler. Baler wrapper? No. Do we have a wrapper? No. We have absolutely no way of making silage. So the only way we can feed our cows is through contracts. Now, we can borrow equipment for contracts, thank goodness. Uh, we cannot lease any equipment for the farm. So um, obviously our prime target for contracts is going to be silage contracts. I think we should take a look while we think of it, because I haven't looked yet. Uh, silage, yes, and we're going to borrow the items for that sucker. Oh, what's this? Is one even bigger? Yeah, don't care where they are. <laughs> we are going to borrow the items. We're going to take that on. And we're going to keep all the extra silage bales. So the only money I'm making opportunity will be for, uh, for the money from the contracts themselves. Now, we can make hay. Uh, what, what is there? Uh, if we look at hay, 60% they don't do too bad. Um, we can make hay. We've got all the haying stuff. Um, but guess what? This is the only way we have of moving hay bales, one at a time. Well, I'll tell you, that's going to get tedious. So we can't even really make much money on hay. I mean, we will make some hay bales for sure. Uh, we'll stack them up as kind of emergency fallback rations. Um, if we run out of uh, silage, but we are going to top up both pans of silage right to the right to the gunnels <laughs> if we can. Well, uh, well, it's silaging season, um, but we will uh, uh, keep some uh, hay bales uh, aside if we have to to feed as well to keep them alive through the winter. So, anyways. That's what we're up to, and that's why it's not going to be like a, you are not going to want to sit and watch me do uh, silage contracts at nauseum, I'm sure. But I would, I will do is kind of do updates of where we are as we march along. It will be far more interesting in year two, but year one is basically going to be silage, silage, and more silage. Now I will grab harvest contracts as as I have the capacity to do them, to and I'll. Start you know, probably hoard that away mostly uh, for the pigs with an eye to getting the pigs. So like things like canola um, can't, well, I guess we could borrow the equipment to do uh, corn harvest and root crop harvest. We don't have any place to store. What we could do though, maybe is take something like this, this covered area here and designate it as root crop storage and store up some root crop. So might do that. Um, as well, like I say, an eye to getting the pigs in the future. Do we have a bucket? Now, there's a bucket thing. I don't know if that actually... Uh, I don't think that... I think that's decoration. Oh! Yeah. Collectibles. There's collectibles on this map. Before we get after that contract, maybe we should take a look at the settings. The last detail. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now, if the map has a custom soil map, you have to run precision farming. You don't, if it doesn't, but I'm going to run it anyways. I always play with precision farming. So does or doesn't, we're going to throw it on and that's actually not going to help us, but uh, so be it. Um, right now I've got the time set at 0.5 just for this introduction. I'm going to change that to five times. I have decided after much mulling it over for the first year I'm going to run on easy. Um, I Actually, I don't think I've ever played on easy. And nowadays I typically play on hard. Um, and I, I waffle between easy and normal. But I looked, we need to buy um, $1.4 million worth of land. And over a million dollars to buy the productions. And on top of that... Uh, we don't have really great earning potential. So I'm going to, what my thought was, we'll run easy on the first year and then the economy is going to tank. And for the second year, um, it'll go on to normal. 
I don't know, hoping that you know we can at least get up to the sheep farm because you know I could have started on the sheep farm. That's allowed if you sell the base or the start farm and you can buy another one for lesser or equal money. And in some ways that would have been easier, but the gestation period on the cows really makes it critical that uh, we start here on the cow farm and then move to the sheep and lastly the pigs because their gestation, uh, you know, periods make it possible to get that 500 mark without buying them all. And I want to use natural births as much as possible. So that's the story there. Um, anyways, back to this. So seasonal growth, yes, I'm going to do eight days per month. And that's why I run it five times because I really like the bigger jobs to actually take some time. But um, we are not going to need eight day months in the beginning, but we certainly are uh, when we get towards the end. And I'm, I'm actually concerned that might not be enough, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And then, like, as per usual, all the goodies are turned on and dirt at normal. And same with uh, fuel use. And the trailer limit is off. I just don't like that. Like I said, it just doesn't seem real to me the way it's set out. Um, you know, smaller trailers out, you know, Twin axle small trailers, out hauling big triple axle trailers. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't feel right to me. So so that's where we're at. And that's why the episodes, like I said, are going to be a little bit different because you just don't want to watch the same thing over and over. But I definitely will make sure to track everything that is done and uh, track the money and keep track of uh, contracts and that sort of thing. So you might find the episodes here in year one a little bit shorter and uh, just be more of an update of what's gone on in the last little bit and keep you abreast of the financial side. But before we do anything else, I fought long and hard. I can make one swap of uh, gear. And what I'm going to swap is this silage uh, shear. We just, we have no hope of making any silage in the any time in the near future and what I want to get um, is a trailer so that we can haul milk because the calves can use milk these cows are making milk it's probably not the most the best use of it but it will help with the feed situation so we can haul the milk there and if we do get to the point where we can buy the dairy like late in this a calendar not our fiscal year let's call it not calendar year um then we can start hauling milk to the dairy so it's uh uh producing but like i said we no point in turning the dairy on now because we can't move any of the products anyways because we don't have bale forks but come uh august next year man that restriction is off and we can update things so let's grab i guess we need the massey with the loader we're going to keep our manure fork now we do have that cereal crop I can't I, I quite honestly haven't looked at either uh, barley or wheat I think we'll cut that and we'll keep that straw and we'll throw it in the pen we will spread slurry because I, I think we have a fair bit of slurry on hand I thought I saw 150,000 so we will make use of that as fertilizer. Now we can't scan our fields right now because we don't have a uh, scanner, but we could buy the scans. And we probably will do that because I think that'll get our environmental score to 50%. So anything we sell, at least uh, if we do sell something, won't, uh, won't get hit with a negative score. So we'll have to spend money on that. Oops. Better not start off by clocking the wall. Throw on our don't hit me lights. And head down to the store and sell this thing off and grab a trailer. Now, we can't even reseed because we don't have a cultivator or a plow. We've got a seeder, but we can do seeding contracts if they come up. But uh, it's not a direct drill, so once we take that cereal crop on, that field will just sit. 
We don't have a lime spreader, so we can't, can't put lime on it. So honestly, this first year is, is just going to be keeping the animals fed by doing contracts and uh, storing up products and, and making as much money as we can off contracts so we can go hard in, uh, in year two. Like I said, this is going to be a real challenge. Now the other thing we need to do here the first day is we need to buy some adult cows. It's I've done the math on it and it's critical we buy uh, a certain number of adult cows. Uh, we have a little bit more leeway on the calves but the 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 uh, or heifers I should say we're not actually buying adults but we're going to buy heifers. But I've worked out uh, based on their uh, gestation what the minimum number of cows we have over the period of five years cow calf combination to get to a thousand cows within uh, the five years and i had to leave some uh, some you know I, I allowed for a few extras because some of the calves that will be born will obviously be males that we'll have to sell off and replace so So there's all our equipment. I didn't even look to see see what we got. It does not matter. <laughs> well, we just take what we get, man. We need silage. And, that's... and we need a lot of it. I calculated, I think it's about 1,100 liters per... Uh, 11, 1,200 liters for every adult cow per month. Something like that. In that neighborhood, you know, rough numbers. Come on, you guys. Like, I need to get through here. You know, running over the locals would be a bad, uh, bad start. Ah, hmm. Well, actually, pretty nice gear, but it's pretty big. Hopefully, we can get it to where we're going. <laughs> oh, yes going to be some fun times I can see that so uh, well we're repainted it'll gain us a little bit but not much and we'll sell that so whoops before we do that what have we got 3079 so sell that and now we need a trailer now I am actually, I forgot to mention this, there's some collectibles. I'm not going to particularly go hunting them out, but when I stumble across them I am going to take them. Because um, the author intended that, that's the way I look at it. So we're going to grab those and I think we can, we certainly can use the money. I think, was there one over here? Oh no, that's the dog's ball. We can't feed this, uh, this dog, although I have seen it wandering around when I was kind of scoping things out there is a dog wandering around here someplace but we can't feed it um you know what we might as well repair this tractor while we're here how much is that going to cost us <sighs> seven grand how bad is that one 208 you know what we might just hold off on that till we get uh, some other higher priority things done. So let's look in the shop here. Actually, where is the actual, uh, right here, is the counter. Might as well do it right. We are going to look in animals. Now, isn't uh, what I really wanted, but I was hoping there's a, I put in a modified version of these Abbey trailers, but then I looked this is a US company and they ship direct to the customer so I really don't think that they would be um, around here they don't do, do distributorship or anything so I don't think that's you know good for the area um, th really the only other one I could find um, I guess we could do this one 2000 liters Hmm. I, I actually decided, was thinking we'd do this one. Um, 
because um, it looks like it's a homemade kind of a deal here and uh, seems like it might be something you might reasonably come across at a dealer they might have taken in an older uh, homemade trailer on trade and have it available um, we can't do anything to it though I guess we could give it a spare tire but heck why bother we can't change the paint color even though it doesn't really match our scheme I um, because uh, it exceeds our uh, spending limit because every color if we go in and look we change it adds a thousand bucks so can't do that so f till next year um, that's basically what we can do that is it so we will buy that and now we can take that milk over to our calves We don't have a uh, jet wash or a workshop at the farm. So we're going to have to come down here to do that because there is a, I remember from the map tour, there's a jet wash kicking around here someplace that we can use. So if we want to clean our equipment. That's what we're going to have to do. Now I don't know if there's a, workshop when we get the uh, up to the sheep farm but cross that bridge when we get there I guess oh see there's the dog wandering around over there and the pedestrian traffic's almost worse than the vehicle traffic oh gotta remember to stay on the right side of the road which is the left side. <laughs> I guess we could be actually in cab for this. Hopefully I remember how to find my way back. I believe this is the spot. I think I'll make these episodes uh, certainly 30 minutes max, but you might find there'll be like here initially it'd be like 15, 20 minute updates to what's gone on maybe in the last month or any significant change in the funds or that sort of thing. Because otherwise it's going to be pretty, pretty boring for you, but pretty busy for me. bad for not using signal lights so we're gonna go grab that milk and we'll take it to the calves right now I suppose we could just sell it on but you know what we're gonna use it as as food right now till we get a better sense of how we make out with uh, silage contracts and how much we go through um, that's kind of be our our choke point if you like in the short term here is is feeding the feeding the cattle because we're going to add some cattle here too now should be right about there oh yeah perfect i'm going to leave the markers on at least for a little while until i get kind of used to where things are And this thing is really in need of repair.
Okay. Well, you know what? You've seen me drive down to the, the calves once already. So I'm going to take a break there because I'm also going to check the time and see where we're at time-wise. And uh, that'll help me decide what we do next. So I'll catch up with you in just a few minutes. Well, here we are down at the calves as promised. And we'll dump this milk in here. And that'll help with their food. I have taken the time up, but only to times one because the month of August, we only have the one day and I need to capitalize on those contracts as I explained. So today we'll run at times one and then uh, starting tomorrow in game, we will jump to um, times five. But I looked at the time and I cannot believe it. That was 30 minute continuous record. I've never done that before. And I had to apologize for yakking your ear off. I tried to get through it as quick as I could. Um, so I hope you're still with me and you weren't bored to tears and that you'll come back and join me for the next one. Um, if you found it entertaining or informative anyways, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, if you want to see when other content like this lands, hit that old notification bell. Uh, feel free to comment if you wish. And I hope to see you on the next one. And I promise not so much yakking and more farming. Till next time, take care. Farmer Murphy, signing out.